Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my stock science mode exploration in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I'm going to send the upgraded ISRU lander to Minmus and we seem to have quite a lot of debris hanging out. Things have happened apparently. Well, those, well that one definitely needs to be picked up. That will be clear when we launch something else. So the first thing is getting the lander onto a launch vehicle so that we can launch it. So there's our harvester. And I did want to put a fairing around this bit. Hmm, actually, yeah, maybe we should go into the SPH and get that done in a balanced way. So, thinking about this, how heavy really is the fairing going to be without the actual fairing parts, just the base? Because then we have to counterbalance that in the back. Sucks to carry this around with us, but... Okay, so that is 0.8. Let's say I have to counterbalance 0.8 back here. Well, what I'd probably like best is another reaction wheel. But that's just 0.2. Well, two extra solar panels would make it. Even though those will be sort of floaty, but that'll do the trick for the balance, I think. All right. So let's try that. Once we get to a decent height, these engines can do the trick for... Well, once we get to orbit. The thrust weight ratio is probably not good enough to complete orbit even. Uh, but once they get to orbit, they can transfer us over to Minmus and have plenty of fuel left over. Uh, we don't really need to pack all the fuel. The reason we have the room is for... For it to be filled up on the surface of Minmus, we don't need to send all that fuel. That means that we're launching 130, let's say call it 135 tons into orbit. Now, I'm streaming this at the same time as I'm doing it this time, so we'll have some music. I'm thinking maybe we can try to have it be recoverable. Well, having a lot of surface area is a good thing for recovery. Uh, how many parachutes are we going to need if I use parachutes? It's going to be a square. Well, let's have a little bit more fuel then. Could we potentially rely on this to just use thrust to land? Hmm. Well, might as well use these Verners. But probably should have parachutes. We don't have anything like landing legs that could actually work with this. So we're going to just land on the nozzles. We'll see. We'll see whether it survives re-entry. think that'll do the trick for getting the payload to orbit though. So Let's try this. All right, here we go, SAS on, that's not working, throttle up, and some of this can happen at the same time. Okay, go. Much power. More power could be had, but still much power. All right, through the speed of sound. Whoa, going through max Q here. Whoa, clouds just disappeared. I don't know, I think the volumetric clouds would be better than what Astronar Astronomer's Visual Pack is giving us here. Maybe I should try and get rid of the cloud aspect of Astronomer's Visual Pack. Okay, temporarily, let's not do any more of that. Get rid of the top fairing. Well, if I'm gonna attempt to land at all, I'm gonna need this to have that much delta V minimum. So, whoa. Okay. Okay, how balanced is it? Eh, it's using some pitch there. But maybe that's just temporary. Put two big reaction wheels on here, still. It's going to be a handful. 
Can we switch back? We can. Okay. Well, this is just gonna come down. It's got 734 meters per second right now. And we shall see. So, I'm not trying to bring it close to the space center in this case. I don't think it has enough. Maybe it has enough to complete orbit and then the orbit and then try to land, but. I think we should just go ahead and go straight into the landing. Maybe I should at least moderate its descent a little bit, because that's pretty sharp, but we'll see. Should probably pump the fuel down. But down isn't too far down. We might have wanted a small tank at the bottom or something. Oh, nope, nope, nope not like that. Okay. Heating is starting, we've pumped the fuel down somewhat. Don't need that. We'll see what the actuation is like. This land in front of us. Oh, no comms. That, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Hopefully that's just temporary. Because of plasma or something. Forgot about that. We don't really have commsats. There's just a lot of ground stations to work with. Uh oh, one of the en some of the engines are not happy. Oh, oh, oh! Things have poofed. I think those were the air brakes. Ooh, that's an engine. Those are engines. Ooh. Well, let's see. That's not great. I can't turn them off yet. Okay, now I have comms. Well, we'll go with the three that would remain balanced. Uh, I guess those two would work too. But we don't need more than three, I don't think. Hmm. So, well, but that was a very steep entry, so. Air brakes out here, definitely not good. Air brakes here, fine. Oh, 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 don't, don't do that. Ah, uh, you tilted, you fool. Ah. Uh... No. Well, this sort of happens sometimes. Well, we're definitely not SpaceX on the reusability thing. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. This is not the main mission anyway. Landed on Kerbin. The probe core survived. <laughs> we got science from it too. Okay, headed to Minmus. Okay, that's what we will do. I really need to make stock look better. This is... I don't know, Astronomer's Visual Pack is supposed to be like the... famous one, but it's still not doing it for me. Is too wobbly to try and do the burn in fizz warp. Let me find for now. We'll just fix that when we get there. We've got plenty of delta V. All right, our new drilling unit is on its way. One big, big tank, the largest of uh, the largest tank you can have. Just one of them, though. We can make rigs with many tanks that are this size. We'll get there, but for now this should be okay. So, heading over there. I guess we can... It's not the most visually appealing thing ever. Let me get the radiators now. We'll keep the radiators retracted. It's probably safer that way. Yep. All right, head out. If people have suggestions for visual mods for stock, 
by all means. Again, I'm using Astronomer's Visual Pack right now, but I'm probably going to switch to Volumetric Clouds at least. And then I probably need a few other things. I don't know which mod has the best ground textures, really, for the stock system. I don't know who decided that during Time Warp it should just not show the encounter, but... Why? Why does it do that? So, where was the organ? I mean, it's nowhere easy to land, that's for sure. We are reliant on solar panels in this case. I'd still sort of like to land over here, even though it's currently out of plane. And that is because it feels flatter. But practically every place with ore is bumpy around here. Oh, well, fortunately those boulders aren't, like, a problem. Okay. Well, we're here. Okay, we are converting. So, how long does it take for us to fill up? Oh, you know what? I should have had much more battery. I have some battery up front, but I don't think it's enough to last the night. Yeah, it's not. Gosh darn it. This is probably pretty big compared to the station right now. So we'll need to make the station bigger just so it doesn't look so dinky. Maybe one more day? Yeah, basically. We'll wait till morning before trying to launch though. So, what's our thrust weight ratio around here? Well, it's a little bit ponderous for Minmus. Uh, the thrust weight ratio of 3 is very slow for by Minmus standards. Okay, up we go again. Guess we'll go orbit. Full thrust. Oh, they've lost their plumes around Minmus, just like some of the other engines, or maybe all of the engines do. So, how much of liquid fuel and oxidizer does it use to get to the station, is the question we are looking at here. How much can it actually deliver? 3.5 kilometers. I think I can just figure it out there. Better control cores would be nice too. We need better control cores and more battery on this sort of thing. I should probably put an extra docking port on this so that um, other things can dock to it once it's docked to the station. So really, getting to the station from the surface takes about an orange tank, or a Jumbo 64 tank. 2,800... Well, no, it's less than that. It's 2,200 of the liquid fuel and then 2,800 of the oxidizer. But maybe we should just think about reserving an orange tank's worth. Oh uh, boy. Feels like it's coming in pretty fast, given the size of the thing. Ah, uh, we bumped. There we go. Alright, well, there it is. Now the green lights on the station sure shine on something. Yep, the refueling lander is way bigger. Maybe it's time to do some larger spaceship design. Let's go back to the Space Center. No, oh, I probably should put more batteries on there, but maybe the spaceship can deliver the batteries. Maybe we should just make them escape pods instead of like a gravity thing. 
Well, that's the thing. Probably we shouldn't have just four, four people, but... Well, let me see if this is Spaceship 2. Let me see if we can get some science from something to unlock a few more parts. Because I want the LFO Mark III parts. Now well, it's full up. Transmit science. Okay. Let's check on Spaceship 1 around Jewel for extra science. Well, it's full of science. And we can transmit partial. Which we will need to because it's not recharged. Come on. There's no excuse for not being recharged around here. I wanted better probe cores, but we don't have a thousand for that one. Octo... how many functions do you provide? Radial is minor, but I guess we might as well unlock it. This one... Maneuver hold, but now I don't have enough science for that. 4,208. Not good enough at sea level, but in vacuum it's pretty good. Now, if we can refuel... Oh, this, can, this much can be easily refueled. Maybe too easily refueled. Unless we want to make it into a space plane and do lathe. Hmm. I'm sort of overdue for a space plane. Let me just set this aside for now. Anyway, deploy limit zero. Could have this bit be deployable and have two cargo base segments. That's a different option. I still want the Rhino, but... I mean, that's not the best idea ever. That's as far back as the center of mass is going to go. Right now. How much wing do we need? I mean, you would think more wing than that, but Kerbal's strange. We should have jets. Whiplashes. 138 tons. It's not that bad. I'm just interested to see if this can get off the runway with that tiny, 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 tiny wing. Then we'll make a bigger wing. <laughs> Space cargo plane with extreme prejudice. But we need the RCS, we need probably air brakes before I forget. Oh, we haven't put any fancy things, I just want to see if it can lift off. Here we go. Wing minimalist. Oh, maybe we don't want those to do pitch. Hmm. Too late now. Oh, oh, oh. Well, certain important bits have been removed. <laughs> okay, well... We're gonna check its boat qualities here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't cut the engines completely. Eek! It's an okay boat. Jeb and Val were on, that could have been bad. First, we put a controller on. Second, we make sure that the Kerbals aren't. Then canards. Oh, well, I mean, you're supposed to be, uh... Tail fin, according to this. But does that preclude you from being a canard? That center of lift has gone really far forward. Maybe that's enough. As the fuel drains, 
The center mass is not telling me anything. Ah, uh, come on. Maybe that's good enough. Let's see. Why is that thing already pitched up? Of course, good planes sort of have the back end sweeping up so that they don't scrape it. <laughs> oh, see. Okay, well, let's keep going. Where am I? Oh no, I'm off the side. Well, that's not good. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Maybe I shouldn't use these for the canards. Sort of looks good, though. Yes, we're taking advantage of the lip there. Oh no, we stalled. Maybe it needs more lift. Oh, I didn't even put the RCS tanks. I would like to be able to carry cargo in the nose. Frankly, we just want to get high enough so that the Rhino can get a good specific impulse. So, oh no, it's actually decelerating. That's not good. Alright, screw it, rhino time. Uh oh, that's, that's a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> Let's be careful. Well, we're definitely carrying extra oxidizer now. Well, can we get a real read on our Delta V? Should have action group these. 755. Well, we can make orbit, then we should be able to come back down. Really needed less oxidizer. Okay, well, technically made orbit. <laughs> technically. Yeah, I'll say 20. Okay. I don't think we gotta do a whole lot with the jet engines with 202 liquid fuel, but I guess... I mean... I don't know if I should turn them on, even. We are in the atmosphere. No, no, don't flip. No, 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 no. We should be able to point, point in first. Come on. No. Keep going then. Keep going. No. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna try and move some fuel forward or something. Not that we have much. Okay, fine. I'll just wait until later. Be that way. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time that I salvaged a situation like this. We're definitely not getting to the KSC. Okay, but we don't have much ground left. Pull up. Bit bumpy around here. Um. 
We want to be beyond that hill. It still seems bumpy. That's a lot of cacti. Cacti aren't like social creatures. Oh. Yep. Oh, we hopped. Ah, no, no, no! Don't lose everything. Ah. I did so well, but it still did that. Fine. Cover whatever pieces we've got. Well, that was that was all the crazy things. There, there are more crazy things possible, I'm sure. But for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.